Hey guys, StarCraft here. This is my friend and co-worker Ingrid. Hi! We're about to go see Alita Battle Angel and first time doing it with a uh, co-pilot. So, yep, let's go see how it is. We'll talk to you afterwards. See ya! <laughs> hey guys, and we're back from the movie. It was so good. I know, it was just, it was phenomenal. It felt an anime brought on the big screen. Everything everyone's been saying about it, it's true. Indeed, it's like they decided to take the Uncanny Valley and said, heck, instead of fighting it, let's embrace it with Alita. It was just fantastic. Exactly, especially the fact that, yeah, she's a robot. Let's just play with it. Let's give her the big, uh, big anime eyes at everything. And every character has basically had a purpose, big or small, no one felt wasted. The writing felt so good. I cried twice. It definitely hit me hard at times. It did, it did. And yes, there are good, there are some downsides to this film. We'll get to that in a minute, but for the good side, this is gonna be spoiler free. It is, all right? Yeah. So, but for the most part, the characters of Alita, um, I just forgot the doctor's name, but the doctor who- Ito. Made, yeah, Ito. You know, Ito. They, Felt very good, especially Edo. I mean, it's Christopher Waltz from Inglorious Bastards and um and Civil and Captain America Civil War. You know he can bring in a great performance. And here, he's both. I'll just say I, this minor spoiler. He's both a great surgeon and a badass when he needs to. I mean, nothing uber spectacular compared to Alita, but still, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, just has that right range of heart to him, mm -hmm. and. Jennifer Connelly has a role in here. She may be one of the weaker links by comparison. She's important, but it's like all of her development happens when she's on screen and it goes a little fast. If I had to say that, would you agree that was probably one of the downsides that when she's on screen, like that's all we get from her and that was it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and then we have the character of Hugo, the love interest. Good guy, but so generic. It just felt like. It, it, I'll, okay, minor spoiler again. It's one of those whole, oh, I, I, oh, nice girl. Oh, I'm in love with you. Oh, I'm going to change my ways. It's like generic stuff. But if you're facing it off a of manga and all that, which it is, it kind of fits. It's like, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to see how I was to say it without spoiling. What, what, what would you say? Hmm. Or is that kind of hard without spoiling? It is kind of hard without spoiling it, but yeah, it is... It is your pretty typical standard love story kind of fair. Yeah, but it does have an interesting end. The overall, the main champion bad bad guy is probably the better one. The big bad, the symbolic big bad is also an interesting one. But the guy who's kind of in between, who's like the final person. I don't know much about the manga, but from what I've looked up, he's kind of wasted. You know, mm. the um, um, Z Z Z Zoma or whatever, Zoma? The um the black guy in the movie. Um, like, I think his name was Victor. Oh, Victor. Zoma is the other guy. And I, his name was Nova. Nova, yeah, yeah. Nova was the is the big one. Then v Victor, he's wasted because he's just a host. I mean, a bit of a spoiler there too, but a minor one. He's a host to Nova, and that's it. He really serves no purpose in the movie other than being a host to talk through. And even then, one of the other characters kind of fit that role at times. A lot better if you ask me than Vector did, because mm -hmm. you had the actor who played um, Gomo or what? You know, the big guy. Mm -hmm. um, but the time when Nova took over him, it felt, it felt more like okay, I feel this. When he was in Vector, not so much. Hmm. I mean, that's probably again my my little flaws, little flaws. But the visuals were absolutely oh, stunning oh, and a yeah. treat for the eyes the and, whole way through. And the action too. I mean, you've probably seen in the trailers like the bit in the bar where she grabs the guy by, you know, and everything. But it's Robert Rodriguez. He's a master with special effects. What do you expect? And this is a strong female character. I just want to get that out of the way. I mean, it, compared to Captain Marvel, I mean, there's a reason why some people are saying they're getting rid of these, these out of the theaters when Captain Marvel comes out. It's like, you don't want to compare but you can't help it. If you actually see this one, I'm not assuming anything about Captain Marvel, but just given how desperate it looks like they're trying to do it, it's like, like this one is so good. Why is it getting panned by the critics? Yeah, and Alita's, Alita's a fantastic character. She develops so well, and there are some times where it's just like, you just say her, say a snarky one-liner, it's just, 
Exactly. Especially when it leads up to the bar. Everything during lead up to the bar fight was my favorite part with Alita. You know, she just has this, yeah, this sass to her that you're just like, mm, that's my kind of girl. <laughs> she just has that perfect sass. And, oh, geez, I'm just blanking on the actual name, but the actual plays Alita in the most of the most of its mocap. But seriously, I mean, I can't tell how much of it was she was actually there, how if she wasn't there, it's kind of hard to tell. But either way, though, she was perfect for this. She was just so perfect for this role. And she really brought the emotion and everything. It's like, this is, forget Robert Zemeckis. Robert Rodriguez really brought emotion, real emotion, to CGI. I mean, if only Andy Serkis had a bit role in here, I think it would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for CGI. <laughs> but, yeah. Not much else to say without getting the spoilers. Again, don't want to do that. Uh, try and keep it spoiler free. Um, but, everyone, like everyone says, see it. Just go out and see it. I don't want to spoil it so you guys don't feel like you don't have to. I'll do that for Captain Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that next week. But for this, and, and we'll both do that next week. We'll be seeing it next week. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just go out and see it. And that's all I got to say. No idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. No, I'll be doing my Jimmy Palmiotti video tomorrow. So it's a big one. But I don't know. This is Robert and Ingrid. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>